Hello everyone, welcome back to another uh, Java for Beginners video tutorial series. I am Damien, your host, and this is going to be lesson number five. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, how to structure our, our program and just a little bit more about uh, problem solving. So I figured I should get into this before I get into stuff that's more complicated, you know, get into the basics before we really move forward. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a calculator. And instead of just doing an addition, subtraction sort of thing, with that, we would need to use if statements. Well, we wouldn't need to, but it would just be very convoluted not to. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a calculator where somebody can enter in a, a number of days, hours, and minutes, and it will tell them how many hours, minutes, seconds, you know, in you know, elapse in that time. Uh, so I want to show you guys kind of how to do that. So, all right. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's. I don't think I'm gonna have time to show you guys how to do all of that. So instead, what I'll show you guys how to do is how to convert just entirely to seconds, because that seems like the the reasonable thing to do. So all right. Here's here's what uh, we're gonna do. We're going to say uh, declare a whole bunch of ints. Uh, so we're going to do int. Uh, we'll do hours, minutes, seconds, and I suppose we'll do days as well. And we're just going to initialize all these to zero, um, just because that's a good habit. That way, if there's a, a zero somewhere in our program, it'll take less time to debug, and you know we don't have to worry about having garbage in if something fails or if we use if statements later on. So what we have here is we have uh, our four variables that I suppose we'll be using. So now we need to prompt the user. Um, actually, let's kind of kind of prototype this out before we begin. So what we're going to need to do is to prompt the user for how many days, how many hours, how many minutes, and how many seconds. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take each measure and convert it to a common measurement. In this case, we're going to be converting them all to seconds. But, you know, everybody knows there's 60 minutes in an hour, uh, 60 seconds in a minute. So you can do it either way. Uh, if you want to convert it up to days and maybe do all these in double and make days a decimal, that's totally up to you. You guys can do it that way if you'd like. Um, and step three is going to be to convert... Uh, there well to output the common measure. So okay, here's what we're going to do. Now, number one, we're going to have to get the input. So we're going to prompt the user for it. If I could type, which I'm having issues with. And we'll say, please enter a number of days. And then we're just going to do a simple uh, input, which I already had declared up here. Um, I'm going to be using that basic skeleton for pretty much every program we do, so hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. So we'll do days equals input dot next int. And then I'm really just going to kind of copy paste this and I'm just going to be changing the the measure because it's going to be basically the same every time. Uh, I mean, it's going to just be days, uh, hours, minutes, and seconds. 
And then I just need to change the, uh, the part where we input for each as well. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah. Trying to do this on a laptop keyboard, not recommended. There we are. Okay, so as you can see, I've basically just replicated uh, our, our initial statement. I've done it four times, and that's going to be how we handle the input. Now, if we were to just run this now, it would only ask us what we wanted to do as input, and we'd end up with a bunch of numbers that aren't doing anything. They're not coming together in any way. So we have a few options on what we want to do here. Now, I'm going to introduce you guys to a couple of different types of logic here. Um, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll create a new variable. Like, they'll create something called, say, total seconds equals zero. And that would actually be a capital S because it's two words. But I'm actually going to stay away from that. Um, I think that you lot are smart enough to really, you know, sort of learn how to uh, manipulate these variables without having to do that. It's going to be a little bit more complicated, but I think that not giving you guys that initial crutch of, you know, using a variable for just a total, unless we absolutely need it, is going to be more beneficial to you. So, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take days, and we're going to multiply and equal by 24. So what this means, this uh, this multiply equal, I don't know if I introduced this in past uh, episodes. I took a couple of days off, and I'm a little sketchy now. But what that actually means is that you're uh, multiplying the contents of days by 24. So in this case, days contents which converts it over to hours. And that's all we really need to do there. So then what we can do is we can then do hours plus equals days. So now we've effectively taken what was in days and converted it and added that many hours to our hours variable. And again, this plus equals is meaning add this to what is presently in hours. Another way of stating that plus equals is actually hours plus or hours equals hours plus days so that's another way of uh, uh, phrasing it but instead I use this uh, it's known as a compound assignment operator so then I'll just do days multiplied by equal 60 and this is going to or I'm sorry not days hours and that is how logic errors are uh, born, right there. Just in case you didn't see that little slip. Um, you know, you might try to convert a variable to something else, and then, you know, you end up wondering why your minutes are off later. So, okay. We're going to do a multiplied by equal 60, and that's going to convert hours into minutes, as there are 60 minutes in every hour. And then we'll do the same thing as above. Minutes plus equals hours. And there is another way we could be doing this. And I'll show you that in a minute as well. And lastly, we're going to, again, do the same thing. And we'll do minutes multiplied by uh, equals 60. And then seconds plus equals uh, minutes. See, but there's a problem with this. And I introduced this to you, and I've been kind of checking the time to make sure I have enough time to get through this five more minutes. But 
what happens if I want to tell the user how many days, hours, minutes, seconds they've they've used? But that means I can't change these values. So how am I going to do that? And the answer is simple. What I'm going to do is rather than doing a multiply equal 24 here, what I'm really going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to take days and I'm going to toss it in parentheses here and then multiplied by 24. And again, I'm going to do the same for hours. So hours is going to get multiplied through by 60 to turn it into minutes. Again, we're going to delete this because that's no longer needed. And now, see, there is uh, another issue with this as well because I still am converting the values, but I'm doing it in a more efficient way. Um, it's sort of a cop-out, but mm, without declaring more variables, it's kind of what we have to do. But what we can also do is put a, a statement before, so I'll show you that multiplied by 60 and so that's going to effectively convert down uh, to what we need so here's what we'll do to keep everything intact we'll do a system dot out dot print not a print len the number of seconds in um, now we have to do plus days days plus hours Ugh. I hate when I get a new really like broken up statements like this so I apologize if it's confusing plus hours hours plus seconds or, I'm sorry, minutes comes after seconds. Minutes plus minutes plus seconds seconds is okay. And now, that should be an uppercase S. All I need to do is sys I did it again right after system dot out dot println seconds er, and that should just be a print okay and let's see how that looks um, I'm going to want one space there no space there there we go let's give that a run cross my fingers hope for the best okay so how am I doing on time 100 seconds perfect Okay, so we'll do um, one day, two hours, 12 minutes, 30 seconds. And I suppose I could have put a, a blank line at, in at the end. That wasn't too nice of me. But it says 94,350. There's 86,400 minutes and or, yeah, 86,400 seconds in a day, so that sounds about right. So what we did there was we basically prototyped out a problem. We used compound operators to quickly, and in three statements, convert what might have taken six to ten statements to do if we had used, you know, total variables and things of that nature. And we also... Uh, kind of saw how quickly you can make a logic error when I made a qu little mistake there. So hopefully this has been beneficial to you guys. I'm Damien, and if you have any questions, post them uh, over at CPP for Beginners, and I will be more than happy to help you guys out, or hit me on Reddit or IRC. All right, have a good night.